Hey, I'm Brent. Thanks for joining us here on Steam Culture. Welcome back. If you're one of our longtime viewers, welcome. If it's the first time, we're glad you're with us. Now, the plow is one of the most widely used and oldest farm implements out there. It goes back all the way to the ancient Egyptians and China's Han Dynasty. Um, and of course, as with anything, there have been many, many, many changes to it over the years. The ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans got a hold of it and uh, did their own thing with it. In the 1700s, there's a lot of documented technological advances. Interestingly enough, uh, most of them pioneered by a guy by the name of Jethro Tull. Hey, Aqualung! Not the same person, but pretty cool name. Now, here's why the, we're talking about the plow. Interestingly enough, the first mechanized version of the plow was actually a tiller, and the tiller was powered by steam, invented by this guy, Arthur Clifford Howard. Now in 1912, he got a disc-shaped cultivator and he ran steam line from his father's track, steam tractor to the cultivator to power it. Found out that it didn't compact the soil as much as other devices. And the first iteration of the mechanized tiller was born. Actually, it was called a rotavator. Now, uh, steam engine went by the wayside, internal combustion engine became the norm as it is with most things, and other inventors actually created something called the tiller. But the original invention was called the rotavator. Fun fact, the rotavator is also one of the longest palindromes in the English language. Palindrome is when you can say a word forward and you can read it in reverse and it's the same word. That is something you can really take with you this week. So, the steam-powered Rotivator. Wanted you to know about that here on Steam Culture. You know what else I want you to know about? All the content we have for you each and every week. Go Google us. We'll put something out there for you to learn about. I've enjoyed telling you about the steam-powered Rotivator. I will see you next week. Go Buffs.